Jemima, why are we going back to the storage unit? Trini, I feel like we need to do a deep dive this time. We saw the first rail yeah. and it was great. We saw a bit more than the first rail. Okay, we rail. saw a little bit more, but like, why are you keeping all of those things if you're not wearing them every day? I, I mean, I think I did a light touch. I just, mm. after a few hours there, we were freezing. <laughs> we, Molly we were and I were like, the... you know, just like, and then it took us about half an hour to leave because yes. we couldn't get, get out of there. So I'm sort of dreading going back because now I've got to make some tough decisions. Yeah. And there's boxes and boxes of dresses in there. There's probably about 100 dresses in five boxes from 30 years ago to 10 years ago, mm. which I have not looked at for 10 years. Why not? Because I had a life where I wore those dresses a lot when mm. I did what not to wear all those shows with Susanna. I was a different person then, probably a different shape as well, a little bit. Mm -hmm. And so I thought one day Lila would like them. Yeah. Over the years, Lila's taste has changed because, like, when I showed her those boxes mm. when she was 16, she was like, I'm never going to like any of them. And occasionally, she's been near the storage unit. It's not always been where we're going now. And she's, she's, changed, she's changed her yeah. mind. Do you know exactly what is in all of those boxes? Because if you don't remember something, yeah. it is hard to keep hold of it. When we do these kind of films of looking back at the wardrobe, they always say, how do you know what you've got where? Mm. So my memory for things that aren't first and foremost in my mind is terrible. But weirdly, yeah. I know all the clothes that I haven't got rid of. It's good that you've got a place that you can put all of these things yeah. and you know they're safe and look yeah. well looked after. It's true. And I do love when you wore something like 10 years ago and then you bring it back and yeah. it's so fresh yeah. and Molly and I are like, oh my God, that's amazing. Cause yeah. we don't have that memory that you have of it. I know, you're right. And it's so cool. Lots of material we're gonna get out of this yeah. film. And we're back from outer space. Let's sit around now with that look of <laughs> Look at that colour coordinate. Beautiful. I can't bear to get rid of it. This is where you sort of think this was a designer item and the memory of this makes you want to keep it. Yeah. The memory is it was a really expensive Celine coat. I remember the joy to buy it. I remember it was summer, I was wearing a white, a collarless shirt, I was wearing blue jeans. I remember the picture, I took a picture of myself in Celine thinking, can I afford it? And what's happened here is the interfacing has crumpled behind because it's cold and it's now 10 years old and it's sort of shrunk. And so, you know, all of this has gone. Do you remember how we talked before about look at things and even if it's really well made, it's frayed at the collar. Wait, could your machine do that though? This is the thing. Can you bring it back to life? Molly? You cannot be here. Because you're saying this with everything. It's challenging with you here, Molly. But, look, but I know there are certain pieces you've got rid of and you're like, oh. But this is what was her cocoon coat. And it sort of goes in that slight gentle going in at the bottom a bit more. Mm -hmm. It's a very small size, so it's a 36. And probably I'll be now a 38 to have that cocoon. Let me have a look. Sometimes when you think, do I keep something or get rid of it? You want to be able to look at yourself in a picture because it really helps to think, what do I love about it? How does it make me feel? It's that beautiful gray. It has got slight discoloration on like yeah. just the details it's, on where the seams you know, are. That's it. It's good. It's it. Time, Time to say goodbye. goodbye. So now this is a coat which Lila had many memories of. She used to dress up in it as a little girl. It's, it needs some of my shaving machine. I could yep. shave off the discoloration. This is still good. The back is adorable. Yeah. And I'm gonna actually bring it home to shave and I might even, with wide leg trousers, wear it as a long jacket. This is a really lovely Stella McCartney. Mm -hmm. The thing is I don't suit cream. So this is going to be sold. Yeah. Lila might wear it one day. The thing is, she suits cream. I don't, and it's immaculate. This is also staying for Lila Rail. This yes. is a really old Chloe coat. It seems really retro now, but I have a dress that sort of goes with it as well. It's gorgeous. I'm do that. I don't think Lila's colour. I don't think it's no. And it's not mine, it's too small and it's gonna be sold. It does. This is Helmut Lang. I keep holding on to it. I think it's cool. No, it's Givenchy actually but it's not my colour, but it could be Lila's. And Lila's. in fact, she could love it now. The right back now. is cool, isn't yeah. it? The back is cool. She'd love that. And she can wear this colour. This is Prada. I just think it's a treasurable piece. I remember when we tried to style it, 
it hasn't totally worked. And I'm thinking, what can I do? How could I change this? Keep the lapel and take the collar off. So just take this off. Yeah. But I just think this is exquisite. Oh, I think bird. we need to take it to, mm -hmm. to play with it. And it could be the, the playing time. This, I can't get rid of this. I mean, this is a very old Prada coat. It used to have this really big brooch on it. I feel like all of these old coats you've got are quite feminine to me. Yeah. So should we be styling it up? I think you could need to put something punch, like either a gold or punchy, punchy, them, or like yeah. no neon. I've done yeah. neon with this before, which has helped. I'm I feel like, like you could really amp up the makeup and make mm -hmm. this work. I'm gonna take it home. I forgot I had this. I love oh, this. Oh, I love yeah. it. Yeah. You should be wearing that now. The shape of this, this is and other stories a few is years this... ago. Are they copied Balenciaga? Because I saw on Vestia Collector recently a Balenciaga coat like this, which was that slightly accentuated hip movement. I think the colours are beautiful. I can't remember what I wore it with before. You've done it with purple? Yeah. Mm. You brought out the purple and you brought out the orange. I know. I love this coat so much. This is my best green and I kept it for the reference of the green because this green suits me and I don't love green, but it's forest with pine emerald. with emerald. Yeah, mm. I think it's a bit of emerald. Uh, but forest emerald. I'm gonna show you. It's a very deep neckline, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, why is it it's from? It's a very difficult neckline, it's Prada. And I think I should keep it for Nyla. But you see, for me now, it's just, Oh yeah, work. that neckline. It's a very line. deep, like, milk know, it's neckline, neckline almost. It's weird. It's, it's like the Chloe thing. neckline. It's yeah. a challenging one. You need to have something up here. So is that staying for Lila or am I actually going to... I don't know if the length's right for Lila, though. <laughs> this I think I can get rid of because I just don't do the crochet. Yeah. Yep, that's good. This is Kinder. Quite feminine, very, very tight sleeve. And I don't know about the length. I just feel it's all a little bit too... Well, that's why I'm not keeping it. And I don't think it's Lila's taste. Do you? I don't or do you think she'll one day... She well, never is print too much, apart from summer no. dresses. Mm. I don't know. It's going, going, okay. going. Whoopsie, I'm feeling good. <laughs> I love it so much. And it's a bit old fashioned now. We've been here on Closet Conventions with this. Do you remember? Really tried to bring it back into the fold. Oh, that velvet is so beautiful. beautiful. I know. Should it stay or should it go now? At the moment, this is going to be on the staying for Lila. Yes. Uh, pile. You know when we did red chakras? I didn't use this. I'm gonna show it to you now with blue, which is the one way that it will make this color better. But generally, I just feel the red is too cool for me. I think it looks great. <laughs> it's good with the blue. Yes. It's in perfect condition. It mm -hmm. is. I have no red trousers. So it would have to be that I wear this with jeans. I like it like this. You're joining her. <laughs> so I'm, are we going to be taking back the house? Oh, uh, yeah. Now this, this is my problem, is that I, I adore this. This was so old, Zara. You can look at things you're about to get rid of and think, actually, what's missing in my wardrobe that would bring at least five things back to life? It's gotta be at least five. And it's having some burgundy trousers because I have this, I have a burgundy coat I'm gonna show you in a second. I've got the burgundy velvet jacket from Sun I haven't worn yet. All are lacking. Burgundies are really challenging colors. Maybe. I think it looks and like a robe. This, you yeah, do. Mm. I really do. I think it's, it's really, just really. a little bit. Like dressing gown. Yeah, it's not doing much for me. Whereas this, she's going to say doesn't look like a robe, but I don't wear it because I thought it looked like a robe. I'm even trying to make the skirt so it suited me. A door. Especially with the blue underneath. Maybe yeah. a bit of a brighter blue, but it's so nice. So I need to try it and wear this. When I first bought this 25 years ago, it seemed a gently vintage number. Now it is, of course, 25 years older. It's a 70s Pucci, and I bought it in the 90s. The problem is, when I bought it, I was much younger, and this velvet thing was cool. I wore it with a t-shirt, jeans, and now I feel it's more granny. What do we think? Do you think Lila would ever like it? I think Lila would think adore this, color. and it you? looks great with your outfit right now. Yeah, it's great. It's bringing maybe. out the blue, yeah. All right, we're going to put it on the rail to take home. Who's in the house? My friend from Anuki. <laughs> now, this is what I should wear, just watching telly. It's sumo wrestler. Ready to take on those mice. She's ready. <laughs> but the colours are good. Will you take a quick picture? Yeah. Do we think we should keep it? You can see what I feel. I don't even need Molly's approval now. Yeah, so fun. When we're talking vintage, we can talk original Fortuny. Oh, no, wow. which is a beautiful 1920s or something. It's a cape now. I, I put holes in it. Oh, wow. I haven't seen this. Yeah. I think, you know, you said about that coat being your green. I think this is such a good green on you. Really? Sorry. If I was still into 
texture. I would think this is cool. I'd belt it and I'd wear it with something, but it's just, is this moving into the next stage of my life? Am I going to be doing this texture pattern on texture pattern? And I feel it's where I'm in my forties and in my fifties a little bit, but now I'm feeling it's cleaner cut. It's not so flouncy. This is a beautiful piece. I don't know, what would I wear it with? I feel like you could wear it with sequins. The other thing <laughs> I thought about is making it a skirt. Is it enough? Is it making it a skirt? <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna make it an apron, I think. I think that you could let out this and you could pull it and it would be looser. Yeah. But I think I would be wearing a curtain. I don't even know if I wanna bring it in yet. No, too I'm just deep. not just... sure where I'm going with it. So that's staying out. Okay. This is off white. I bought it in Harvey Nichols in the sale. It was like 80% off. But this coat, I love the length and I wore it in Dublin, do you remember? But it's not white and black. It's, it's a bit off-white, isn't it? <laughs> 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 and it's a good length and everything. But what it is. I don't know if it's you, but I do know who it might be. You. Lila. <laughs> yeah, I could be Lila. I think this would really yeah. be Lila. That, just oh. such a beautiful coat. And it's funny enough, even when I got it, it was really for a petite, delicate girl like Lila, and I was too tall for it when I even got it. And if she's wearing a really beautiful long dress, having that over her shoulders. Has it even got a pocket on it? Yeah, it's so beautiful. Oh, that is gorgeous. Yeah, and it's immaculate. There's no puckering. It looks brand new. Yeah, it yeah. does. So that's worth keeping. And this is tricky. This is a liar and it's just so nipped in and joyous. I have these short mini skirts I'd wear underneath and mm -hmm. this and they'd end at the same length mm -hmm. and then a very high wedge. And that's how I wore it. But I think it's... Is it navy? Yeah. I don't know how Lila would wear it because what's challenging is that it's A-line and short. And if she wore it with a mini... Because yes. when you don't have it done up, you lose the impact of the coat. Yeah. It's really difficult. Would you wear this now? I don't know if I could feel that full silhouette. It work. You know how these riding trousers coming out, the leggings with the kind yeah, of yeah. stirrup? That's probably the only way you can wear it, but it's just this nip tin bit. I think if I wear coats this long, it's I want it to be wide. It's staying. I'm not coming staying. home. I would not get no. the hugest amount of money for it. And it's too beautiful to not. I think it is, yeah. I just, I could, you know, do it in this designer sale. That is an option. Oh, I've got some juicy items here I bought on Impulse. One Ooh. was from Maison Rob. The skirt never suited me. It's too much of a circle skirt and I feel it goes out too early and I feel I've got a tummy and I don't know that we're selling it. This is essential Antwerp long dress. And I do like this. Yeah, you love this. I it's... love this. So why is it here? I think the color's great. Yeah. yeah. Wear it with long necks. You've got a pink and then that's the corally one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, different shapes though. These yellow trousers, I'm just not going to wear. Beautiful Australian designer, but it is a bit bizarre, the zip crotch. I know. And it did give me a zip crotch. Yeah. This is um, an old Simone Rocha, is it? Yeah. And I just think it's too little girly for me now. Yeah, I feel like you did it. Yeah, I did it. And you rocked it. I can sell it. Because that wouldn't be something Lila would do. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the kimono story? We remember. There was more than one. <laughs> <laughs> and this was another one and I had it and then I just thought the thing about kimonos is this bit because then it, they're not that flattering and generally kimonos they feel like they're really long and you don't think of necessarily Japanese ladies as tall but this was for a man it's definitely a man's fabric and when kimonos are done the obi is done so that the actual end oh. it ends up like this do you see there's yeah. so much overhang they have and you think now it's turned into what you remember perhaps of a man wearing a classic kimono I love these colours and I just was inspired by the idea of what I did with the black one. Do you remember I put shoulder pads in mm -hmm. it? So what are we doing with it? I don't know. I don't know if it's too much work for me to change it up and everything. It's It doesn't make sense to me. Time to say goodbye. Yeah. Yes. Another old vintage piece. I just feel I'm wearing a curtain. I can't go there yeah. anymore. And that's <laughs> oh, look, the tag is still on. I got it at the street market. It was 80% off. I couldn't resist. I saw the sequin cape in white. Who would have thought? <laughs> and also it had this weird thing that it was a jacket as well and then a cape. You can wear it as both. It's so super cool. Someone will love it. Wise words. Yeah. I bought this in Bath. It's Bieber. I was walking with the tribe, looking at outfits. This went around a few pregnant ladies. Pregnant ladies. <laughs> I, this is my pregnant lady wardrobe I'm now into because lots of pregnant ladies love this and they put the bump above and it looked amazing on them. So I could keep for other people a pregnancy wardrobe where I spend money on a unit per month to have an allocation of that. <laughs> no, life is too short. Oh. oh my God. I'm going to just... 
put these for sale because I know how many of you will want to buy them. That will be a Brilliant. huge, yeah. They're finally gonna go. We are getting through this. I got in India, it's by I Love Paro. It's trousers on the top. Do you remember my walking down that Chelsea street being excited <laughs> by this? There is a jacket somewhere in this unit as well. And also a hat as well. Oh, probably everything. Um, but the thing is, I <laughs> it is really for a it woman who is five foot, maximum five. Okay. I'd say five foot three is better. Everything yeah. proportionally is for that and I'm not that and that's going to. It's not no, it's done. Oh yeah. I love Paro, I loved it so much. I bought two dresses as well and yeah, they didn't work. So I got yeah. Susanna to change them. But you know, the length is weird. Am I gonna wear them? Is the collar my collar? No. I think you'd wear that one more than that one. Okay, so maybe we keep this one just for now. This is a red Serena Beauty dress. I love the idea of it, but I don't wear red that much. I love this. I know you do, Molly, and you really suit red. You have a red scarf on right now. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> okay, so. Does it not remind you of um, The Handmaid's Tale? Yes, it does. <laughs> Selling. This is a long dress where I feel that there's a lot of um, pattern there. Yeah, no pattern here, and yeah. we're going to sell it. I made my long yellow dress from this shape at the top of this dress, mm -hmm. which I love. It is a little flirty summer dress. I could still wear it. Yeah, you could. You know, but it feels quite classic whenever I put it on. It's got some stains at the back. It's going, and I've got the yellow one now for the shape, so I don't need it. I keep this because my mother's 40th wedding anniversary, she wore it draping like sort of Princess Margaret and her mother, you know, like, you know, the one of the, the old queen with her two kids, and I was just like, mother with two daughters, and my sister and I did this with my mother. You know, there was my <laughs> mother in the middle, and we were like this, and she was in this. And so the memory mm. of that green jacket, it's all right, the color. It's a good color. Yeah, and sure. it's a clean jacket, it's Zara, but it's actually, there is nothing, it's puckering there a bit. Yeah. You know, but what would I wear it with? Just Pink? like, I haven't worn Pink. it for three years. No, too dark with light. Okay. Here we go. Forte, forte, it was when I was in my phase of uh, pattern. Can I go? <laughs> Your pattern phase. This, which, you know, the white one, oh, yes. I didn't wear for ages. But I think I want to take the collar off. I love this. Great, let's put you that over You did it with your McQueen boots and something else, yeah, and it was, was great. Really good. Oh, that's here. That navy dress. Oh, from Joey. Yeah, and it was nice. Yeah, that, that dress. was great. Is it Joey? No, it was whistles. Whistles. But that we was good, but I need the shoulder pads in and stuff, but it is good. Yeah. Let's take it out. It was home. a good neckline. This is a just a very simple summer dress. I kind of love it, but I think I want to take the collar off. Yeah. Be gone collar. Be gone collar. So we're going to give that to Susanna. Um, this is a Serena Butte shirt in velvet. I'm just not going to wear it. We're going to sell it. Tail getting bigger. Ooh. It keeps coming up for resurrection. It's a cost dress. That's brand bloody I know it's it does. Do you think I should it? try it? Yeah, it's not the label. <laughs> that's going to go back home. You know, I was looking for some sort of sexy tops. I love this because it was a little bit see-through and the colour blue is divine. And I want to take that home and you know my sexy top part, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. one top at the moment? <laughs> that could be the second. Oh, there's that coat. This is Erica Davis. Really nice mm -hmm. pink coat. Um, but I have quite a few pink coats. You do? I do. And I think I'm going to keep the Balenciaga in. What? A little Balenciaga dress I wore endlessly. I thought Lila would love it. I think if we made it shorter, she yes. would. Yes, I think so. so she cute. would love it. Yeah, that. it's really cute. I think with this, <laughs> I didn't love the collar. It just needs to be a tiny bit shorter. I think it just needs to be round. Okay. Yeah, just totally yeah. round. And then it has something. And mm. I think we could do work with it. So it's an Estee's Anna moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a very nice Joseph shirt. Oh yeah. I think that I could actually. Lovely. Yeah, no, I could wear that. No, you can't take that collar off. I know, you just look at that. Of course it's like deep. That's like a white. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I just don't know if I'm gonna wear this, you know? <laughs> I just don't know what. It's just. Are these all of our old Christmas yeah, they presents? Are. They, these are, you know, these were like the best Christmas presents, weren't they? They yeah. them. I mean, Louise still wears them. Yeah. She does. still wear them. So, should we pop them in the office for people when they're cold? Yeah, no, I think great. I think so. You still I feel that. I should keep this. Oh, that is so fun. So, yes. I should take that and, yeah. and style it up. Well, we oh, really have my gosh. Real. Okay, this coat, which I've loved and we've used for many closet conversions. What do we do? But you've always tried to make it work for you. Okay, it's going to sink. We're on a mission and I'm feeling good about it. Let's go. Do another rail. And then one day we'll get to the boxes. <laughs> All right, so this is a dress I loved and I wore it and I wore it that way and it's very sexy and I love the purple. Yes. But I haven't worn it. But do you think I could wear it? I yes. really think you could wear it. I really that, could now. Could my yeah. She's styled up. These trousers, they're mother of pearl. They don't fit me. They're going. The red trousers are too big. They're going. These are some navy trousers, mm -hmm. which I just feel, no, I'm just going to say no. That is 
going to get rid of. That is a weird jacket and top and skirt and top, which I don't wear. That I'm going to get rid of. Oh, I like this stock shirt. We're going to put that to keep. Yeah. Yeah. I think this us Q, it's too printed. It's going to go. Mm -hmm. That is going to sell because it's the wrong yellow for me. This is going to go. It's my mum's, but we're not going to wear it. Yeah. This is going to go because it's not the right size. eBay, and I loved it because I thought it was going to be like my ones of the Tory Birch, but the length is wrong. And it's very high-waisted. This is great, but it's too big for me now, and I've worn it so many times to death, it's going to go. This, my God, I've worn it so much. <laughs> it's still modern and fresh. It is. It is. It's cool. Could you make it a top now? Would you, um, you not do that know. anymore? I quite love it as a dress. Oh, I have the long dress as well. Oh, perfect. So you've got the whole collection, basically. I like the fabric and I love the And color. I love the beading on that. Yeah, it's so adorable. Pretty. Should we just keep this one? Yeah. Should we take the collar off and we put yeah. the beading there? Yeah. I sort of love this. I love this. I, I don't think know why I you haven't worn this now. Yeah, where is this from? Where's the silver belt? Let's listen. Should I make this a top? Yeah. Just cut there. it, Janine. I'm going to cut it there. Yeah. Because the top half is really cool. Really cool. I've missed Yeah. I've missed this. Your highlighter coat. Yeah, I've Bring missed it. Bring it back. It. This, I love this, but this doesn't fit me now and it won't fit me. It would be too. What? I love it's the just a great blue. I know, isn't it? you know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. I didn't wear, and it's a zoot suit, and I think I will. Yeah. A what suit? Zoot. zoot suit. Reference to the mafia in the 50s. This, I think, is shapeless. Yeah. I think that it's going to. I've worn it so much. Cost for wear has been brilliant. Whereas this one had a certain amount of elegance to it. Yeah. So I keep that just here. It's yeah, just I love the waist detail. Yeah. That one. This I thought Nyla might like at one stage. Yes. I think that's cool. Yeah. I love the way it oh, grades. That's cool I think I got it from Topshop. This was one of my original sequin suits in the green, and I adore it. The trousers are going to be way too big, and I think taking them in might be tricky. But the color was so beautiful. It was great. Why don't you keep it? See how you feel. Okay, fine. One of my favorite old prod jackets, which Lila could wear now. Yeah, that's lovely. It's beautiful. Yeah. Um, and that's for Lila. Lila Real. So I think what goes to her when. This is a Serena Beauty set, which I'll keep. Yeah. Why is it that... in storage? It's summer colour, but I love it. No, but I've got some summer ones there, so I should take it back with me. Yeah. Just so they're all together. And maybe take off the collar. <laughs> One of my favourites, do you remember this Victoria yes. Beckham shirt? I love I it. I think this would be so good if I take off the colour. <laughs> this I bought in Tokyo 7, adored it, loved it, never worn it. That's going. This is the shirt we thought about for the 70s that was my mum's 70s shirt. That's going. Yeah. 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 This we're going to keep for all time sake. This never suited me, this colour, Serena Butte, it's going. Yeah. I love this brand, Prenza Shula. And it was, it's this kind of like dress with this overlay. Mm -hmm. Just now. I don't even know why I bought it. Do you think Lila? And it has this at the back. Oh, it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's really cool. I think Lila might do that one day. Fine. I adored this. It was very mm. cool. Yeah, I love this. It still is cool. Mm. This is a vampire's wife. Mm hmm. Is it white or is it cream or is it ecru? Um, it's ivory. <laughs> I haven't worn it, have I? No, no. It's the same as your yellow one. I'm well, not I need sure to take it home, or it's too busy. It's too busy. It's too busy. It's too busy. This, um, I felt Lila might like it. Smell is temporary. Yeah, that's it's a little cool. overlay, but that's going to go. That's sold. This is for Lila. This is an old acne shirt. I bloody love with the oh. colour. Would Lila like it? No. What drama? Huh? This is a little Prada. Oh, Lila would love yeah. that. Keep. Look at this nice little bit of cashmere. Orange. That's Ooh, a great orange. color. Me. That would also look great under that suit. Look, a little tabard in yellow. Sorry, so a white cute. shirt. So cute. That's like your tibby color as yeah. well. Um, these are two white shirts. I don't think I'm going to wear Not that one, shirts. this one. It's too daffodil. So. Oh, I love this. This is so beautiful. So I'm just going to show you now. It's a strapless dress. And then there's a coat to match. Oh my and I think gosh. this is a beautiful colour for Lila. Where is that from? It's from Bottega Veneta. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Really, and she would love it. So I'm going to put yeah. it on her rail. I want to make sure it's still perfectly preserved and looked after. Nobody's getting visits. No visitors. No visitors. So it's going on the Lila rail. Oh my god, you had a daughter, Trini. <laughs> oh my god. This is a beautiful Dior coat. I won't give Lila yet, but it's really pretty. And it just had a lovely back. Oh my God, I love this so much. This Bottega. It's metal, you know, it's kind of mm. slightly padded. These buttons are wonderful. Wow. I love this. I mean, I just, I just think it's a vintage piece Lila would wear. Casually, probably trash it over an amazing evening dress. You know, it's that kind of moment. It's not for me to revisit. Oh, the really old Prada coat. It's beautiful. I could wear this still. It's really pretty. I like that oh, wow. with these little pockets. So sweet. It was my funeral coat. 
Oh. Another thing I've never worn and never got rid of. And it was great for St. Patrick's Day three Two years, years ago. ago. This is a Prada. Oh, I think she'll wear that. Room. I think yeah. she'll wear it. I think that's her. That Saloni dress. You should be wearing that now. I should be wearing this now. This is mm -hmm. cool. We should take that with us. That's actually this beautiful. Saint Laurent dress. Look at that cool Saint Laurent. Sexy. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I don't know if I could wear a shift dress like this now. You could. Do you think I could? Shall I try this? I'm not sure about the off the shoulder. It's not off the shoulder when you put it on because it's a uh, sleeve. It's a sleeve here. Oh, like fine. That. So you never see your shoulder. No, you don't back, see your it's shoulder. open. Oh, yeah. okay. Interesting. Yeah, let's try. I think let's try it. I just think I'm going to put it on and not know. This, I think, it's time to go. Oh, yeah. Do you think not? I, I think, think maybe I... if you took the collar <laughs> off. <laughs> Such a good idea because I usually tuck the collar yeah. in. <laughs> okay. Um, and this is a cool dress still. Oh, I know. And you've hung it with the belt. I think I should take this home. Yeah. That is too busy. And I should go. To sell it. Lila? Is maybe uh, that. I'm not going to wear it. Oh, it's so cool. Do you think it's cool? Yeah. I think you should try and wear it again. I think you should try and wear that again. Okay, so that. No, go. This is. See, I kept this for Lila thinking it was the coolest thing ever. Mm. And Lila didn't think it was cool. But as a black dress, I'm going to try it now. And this was something I love from Prone's Shooter, and there's a long sleeve bit to it. Just a little thing that goes over things. Oh, that's awesome. You know, so I think cool. we could just think of how I could wear it. This was a strapped dress I wore, and it's beautiful, Ooh. but it's not Lila's colour. No. no, okay, that's gonna go. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. so. Big success. One last little thing, it's a Prada top. That Lila will wear at some stage. Yeah. She could take that 100%. home now. Gorgeous. But let's just put it here because we're not gonna try ourselves crazy. This is a Yuki dress. This is so cool. I could wear this now. It's super cool. Yeah, that is one of those dresses you could wear when you're yeah. 100. This is what I'm thinking where we're at. We haven't done this and we need to do that. We do need a part three. I'm afraid. I think we need a part three because we, like there's things in here which are so beautiful and I just think... Everyone wants to see, I want to see it, so... Yeah. yeah, and everyone is very excited for this sale. I know. I want to add some more exciting things to it, like all these shoes. This is a dress I wore from Joseph. Before I had Lila, it's 20 something years old and I had them in three colours and they were wrapped dresses and that's what I wore every summer. And I love them. It was so easy. I had them in purple, pink, and this colour. Oh, and that's a lot of our dress that I was dreamy about the other. Actually, let me just do one little. So this is a dress that I wore with a corset belt from Lanvin. It kind of did up here, so you could have open or closed, and it has a sleeve. I mean, can I wear it now, or is it just to the wrong length? You know? The wrong length. This was so yes. chic. This maybe. Let's just look at this. So this. This Bottega Veneta, which was used to be such a classic brand, but this I remember had this point of difference because it was just quite stark as a dress. It wasn't quite a shift dress. I think you could wear that now. I love that. I mean, we could wear that now. And it just had this sort of balloon bottom yeah. and, and then pockets. But I like that it's not the whole way around, it just seems to be at the edges. Yeah. I want to look at wearing that now. Let's just try and find one of these that we do. This is some Prada thing. Oh, this Lila can wear now. This is a uh, Balenciaga. That is adorable. It's so cute. Gorgeous. So the detail there. Cute. So I'm going to take it back for now. I think she would wear it. It really is short, so I can't imagine she'd say, Mummy, I've got to cut it. Yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. And also, they all wear little strappy things, but this broad shoulder is so good to give her really a broad shoulder. Lila's quite narrow up here, and I think the whole shape of this dress is fantastic for her. Yeah. This is from Prada. Oh, that is so cool. And then at the back, it's like that. Yeah. That's so cool. I could try it. I could love try that it. material. Yeah. Um, oh, I love that Lila could wear this now. What's good about this is it's like that here, mm -hmm. and then it's strapless. But this goes up and in, so it can be. I used to wear it like that short. Yes. Yeah, so Lila cool. now. She would love. That's it. I think what we'll do next: take a break from the storage unit. We're going to take some of this back tonight. We're going to put it on rails of what Essie's going to work with. We'll do an Essie's Anna film of switching out things you've got. How do you make them fresh? How do you take those dresses from the 90s and the noughties? Bring them into the 20s and the 30s. And uh, until next time, thank you, Molly. Thank you, Jemima. Thanks, Jenny. Bye. Bye.